Hi guys, my name is Valerie from Valerie Visuals and I'm an illustrator, graphic and motion designer. In today's tutorial we're going to learn how to create a frame by frame motion graphics animation inside Procreate. So first go to settings, canvas, activate the drawing guide and then activate the animation assist. Now you can see down here we have a little bar. This is the keyframes bar. Frame by frame animation is a very large and complicated topic, so I will not be able to go through all the details in this tutorial. If you want to know more about animation, I highly recommend to you guys to watch this video. This video go through all the important stuff and principles of frame by frame animation. This will definitely going to help you to understand more about animation. Before starting any animation, it is very important to plan the movement of the object we want to move. In this case, I want a simple sphere to move from right to left. So let's start planning our movement. First, set the keyframes rate to 24 frames per second. Now create a straight line by drawing a line and holding the pen till the line gets straight, like I'm doing in the video. And now we need to draw the main frames. If I want the ball to come from the right corner to the left, I know that the first keyframe going to be here and the last here. I am also drawing a frame in the middle. Now we have the main position of the sphere. Now we need to mark the in-between keyframes. Very important to make this layer as a background layer so that this layer will be a guide for our animation. Now decrease the opacity a little. Press here to make a new frame. The frame that we make is a basically simple layer in the layer section. For drawing the sphere I'm using the Nico Roll brush. You can use any brush that you want. So let's create the first keyframe. After that add a new frame and draw the second frame and so on until we reach the final frame. Now let's turn off our guide and press play. This is a very simple and linear animation. Cool. Now I want to talk about a different options in the settings that I think you should know about. If I decreasing the frame rate, the animation is going to be slower. If I click here on the shot, it's going to show our animation only once, like that. If I press ping pong, we're going to see the animation going back and forth like that. Now I want to show you guys how we can create more interesting movement of our animation by increasing and decreasing the amount of keyframes that we are draw. I'm going to explain. Let's start with our three main frames, but now we're going to change the amount and the position of the in-between keyframes. The more keyframes we draw, the animation will be slower. Less keyframes, the animation will be faster. So our guide for the next animation is ready. Don't forget to make it a background layer. Let's bring down the opacity. Add a frame, choose the brush and let's start drawing according the new guide. Cool, let's turn off our guideline and for this example I am choosing the ping pong. Press play and now you can see guys 
the movement of our sphere is more realistic and less robotics. The main thing you need to remember is that more keyframes is slow animation, less keyframes is fast animation. Let's try this technique on a symmetric circle path. Align him in the center and start to draw our main keyframes. So I want the ball make a 360 rotation like this and now I am adding the in between keyframes here so as I told you here where we have more keyframes the animation be slow and where we have less keyframes then the animation will be fast don't forget to make this layer the background layer bring down the opacity add a new frame choose a brush and let's start to draw the animation according to this guide Turn off the guide layer and for this animation I will show you how it looks on loop. Press play and let's see what we got. You see guys, in the beginning we have a slow movement and down here fast movement. Now let's make it even more interesting by creating a squish and stretch effect. By scrolling with your finger on the frames bar you can choose the frames where the ball is getting faster. Now make this ball more elliptical. We doing this because in the real life when any object moves in fast speed the object getting squashed and stretched because he's affected by the law of physics. And now let's make the animation even more interesting by adding motion blur effect. So go to brush library, painting and choose the oriental brush. Decrease the opacity and start to draw this kind of speed trails. Let's see how it looks. It looks nice. Now I want that you create a new animation on the path that you want. So first create your path to understand the movement of the animation. Then create the keyframes and decide where you want the animation movement be slow or fast then create the main keyframes decrease the opacity and don't forget to make this layer as a background layer so he can be our guide create a new frame and start to draw the animation don't forget about the squish and stretch effect when the movement gets faster then with the oriental brush draw the speed trails for a motion blur effect. Turn off the guide layer and check out your animation. And this is the animation I made for my Instagram page. Hope you enjoyed and learned something today. In the next tutorial we continue to learn about frame by frame animation in Procreate and we will learn how to work with color and how to add more layers 
to our animation using groups and many more tricks that's going to help you become a better creator. So don't forget to subscribe my channel and I see you next time guys.